Another concerned Charlotte Mecklenburg family now coming forward after a Channel 9 investigation. They say their child's school bus driver swabbed his mouth, gave him $5. And we're learning some new information from the county about a lab that we first told you about yesterday. We've got Channel 9's uh, Joe Bruno now tonight with the new developments. Joe, bring us up to speed. The county still doesn't know who this lab is or what they're doing, so they're contacting the state to try to figure out what is going on. In the meantime, we're hearing from another parent and a student about this cheek swabbing incident, and they are not happy. Byron Jimenez shows us how the bus driver swabbed his cheek. He is one of several Ridge Road students who got $5 in exchange for an alleged COVID test that parents weren't notified about until after it happened. I heard one of the kids say that the bus driver told them to be quiet or, she, or they were going to get in trouble and she was going to take them their $5. The 13-year-old says the bus driver told him to write his name and birthday on a piece of paper. At first, he was scared the test would come back positive. Now he's afraid of what the bus driver did with it. Last night I couldn't really sleep good and I asked my sister if I can sleep with her. His mom, Mabel Osario, isn't scared. She's angry. Oh, I feel so mad, so frustrated because uh, she doesn't have the right to do any test to my son. I didn't sign any paper. She doesn't request even the school. Nobody, nobody asked. We still don't know why the bus driver would do this. CMS hasn't updated us on the investigation and has only said she is suspended. Osario wants answers. And the first thing I want to see her in the jail and provide all the information why she do that. Uh, remember what the health director said yesterday. No one should be paying you to get a COVID test. You get a test to find out if you are sick. You don't need it otherwise. And if you remember my story yesterday, it was the CMS incident over here. And then this laboratory that we've heard is also paying people for tests over here. But now, John, you're finding a might, there might be some sort of link between the two. That's right. So, Joe, let me walk you through this here. When I went down to that homeless shelter uh, the other day, well, I met a man who took that test for money, and he showed me a business card that said National Institute of Molecular Diagnostics right there. Well, today I learned the parents that I talked to earlier in the week, you see them on the screen, they had heard that name before. In fact, students say the bus driver who paid them the $5 to swab their cheeks had the National Institute website pulled up during all this and the parents even sent me screenshots from text messages back on the 18th where they were talking about this company. That's 10 days before we even knew about this story well before we ever heard about that lab. So now we need to mention we contacted the Guilford County Health Department who tells us they have worked with the lab in the past in a limited capacity. They haven't had any complaints. So I asked the company today, asked them directly if the bus driver works for them. This is just a few minutes ago. They told me they would fax me a comment, gave them our fax number. We have been waiting on that fax. In fact, there are producers standing by the fax machine right now. So if we get it, we'll let you know what it says. You can keep up to date with this developing story on our website and on the WSOC News app.